Hi, this is Chris Webb with Youth Social Marketing and Consulting, and today I'm going to run through a quick Google Chrome tip, and it's going to be about the incognito version of Google Chrome. Now, what the incognito version does is it's basically a private browsing where it doesn't um, record any of your history. Um, also, the cookies that are stored during the incognito mode are typically deleted once the browser is closed. So there are some practical applications for this. Now, personally, I deal with a lot of different clients who use Google. So what I do is I will open up a, uh, an incognito window for them to add in all their information because once I close it, typically their information will be deleted as well. Um, so how you do it, you can come over here to these bars here, open it up and just click the new incognito window and you can see up here in the top left corner, this guy kind of shows up. So then you can go ahead and um, open up a Gmail account. So you can sign into a different Gmail account and then have the other Gmail account that you were previously on Chrome with already open. So it's, it's um, very useful, especially if you have multiple people using a, a, a particular computer and you just don't want your information to be shared. Now, if you guys have any questions about the incognito mo mode in general, um, please let me know, but really it's it's just kind of a way for you to, to limit the exposure um, kind of security wise if you're working on somebody else's PC. You can go into the incognito mood, mode and know that when it closes out that most of your stuff is going to be safe. Thanks for watching the video and if you guys have any questions go ahead and send them down in the um, in the remarks there and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.